So in this episode, we've prepared most of the parts to build this day bed and we just need some final assembly and preparation. So to attach the rails to the ends, I'm going to use these long bolts. To fit the bolts, it's important that the rails are square with the brace on each end. So I'm just marking where those rails come to on the end of each leg. And then uh, presenting the rail up to the leg and checking that I'm happy with its position, making sure that it's square. And then marking around each leg to show its position. Yeah. At this point, there's one important step that we should do, and that's uh, marking each of the joints so that we know which rail belongs where. So I'll just use a punch to mark it. This one is number one. There we go. I'll mark the next one number two, the next one number three, and I usually leave one without a mark. That's where the bolt will go. So it's also going to need a dowel to help stop the rail from twisting when, when we're connecting it and to give me somewhere to locate it to. All right. Same process repeated with the other side. You can see this one I'm marking number two. And I'm just marking the center of where the rail will be and putting a location to drill a hole for the bolt. And I also punched in uh, another location to drill a hole for the dowel. And then it's just performing the same procedure for each leg on each of the two ends. And these holes for the bolt, of course, will go all the way through Whereas these holes for the dowel will just go half the length of the dowel into each leg. Okay, now eventually we want that dowel to be glued into the rail. But at this point, I've just put it there to position the spot for the hole in the rail and I'm using this dowel jig to make sure it goes in nice and square and straight and in the right location. And repeating the same process with all of the other ends and the legs. Okay, and once that's done, I'm going to glue the dowel into the rails because it will help us to position these ends to put the final location for the bolt in. So there I'm just resting the ends on the dowels in each rail. Then clamping the end into place on my work table. Just using a couple of slips of cardboard to adjust the height a little bit. And checking that everything looks square. And then drilling that bolt hole all the way through the leg and into the rail. And repeating the process for each leg and each end. And then making sure that that bolt hole goes in deep enough to accommodate the whole bolt in each end of the rail. 
Okay, so now the bolt can go into the rail, but we still need to be able to access the nut. And to do that, I'm measuring out a good location to put a hole so that we can access the nut to connect the nut and bolt. And by doing that, connect the rail and the ends of the bed. And, and using this method, of course, yeah, there's a bit of tape around the bit to make sure that I don't drill too deeply or drill through the rail. Yeah. But by doing this method, we can both uh, assemble and disassemble the rails from the bed ends for transport anytime we want. Anyway, in the next episode, we'll finish this off, put everything together. Thanks for watching.